All right, guys, check this out. So this is a pain in the you-know-what. Uh, but it's come along. You probably like, look at all those wires in there. Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. They're all hanging down. I'm going to tighten all that up. And uh, once I put, like, I'm going to put that foam, I'm going to put some foam that's in there to, for comfort, and that's going to black all this out, so I'm not even worried about that. And this, you can see right through it, obviously, because there's lights from behind it. Not concerned with it right now. But the wiring is uh, it's pretty crazy. Basically, I'm going around. I, I don't, you might not even be able to pick this up, but um, I'm going around, and then I stop, and... I do three of the cords, and I I do maybe, I don't know, five inches of, of cable, and I jump up to the next row, and then I go all the way around. Jump up to the next row, and go all the way around. And I got to about, when I got one whole strand in there, the next strand wouldn't light. Now, either it's a faulty cable or whatever, and that was a, a whole bunch of four-letter words. I was like crazy frustrated ticked off couldn't get the dang thing to work and uh so i kind of bypassed that and ran new lines from the main line here that goes the battery i spliced it in here and, and started fresh and went into the to, to road two and i don't know it shouldn't do that based on the research i've read on um all i should be able to use the main the main line and go all the way up and then just run separate power lines pretty much for each. Um, I'm going to do it about every four, maybe three to four rows. I'm taking the the extra wires, these two, these two wires, these two extra wires that come with this. So this is, your, you know, you plug in there. These are two extra wires. And I'm going to run these directly to a second lead coming off the battery that is specific for that extra power. So check how I did this check out how I did this. Let me unplug this. This is just your charger. So I got the the remote here. Links in the description. It works. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got this run into the the uh, USB on the battery pack that's in the description. This, the USB connection gives a five volt signal. Well, these are five volt LEDs. And then this, the second one here underneath it is 12 volt. So I want to run a, a separate line by itself for the power that's gonna go up to all the, the, different, um, the different LED strands. Because you have to do that. You just have to run separate strands or your lights are going to start getting dim. And I noticed that a little bit with the white, but I'm not going to be pretty much, I'm not going to be using the white for the most part. So then if you look in the link in the description, there's one of these. This is a, I call it a drop down. So you, 12 volts goes in and 5 volts comes out. There's actually two USB uh, jacks. So if I wanted to use a second one, I can run that, which I'm going to do. And then I have that going to a, and the links in the description for this as well. So I have that, that, um, this is basically just a, what is this? Oh, a USB to the, the barrel connection. And then I have one of these connections. Also, that link is in the description. And I'm running the power line that's going to go to all the different rows of um, about every three to four rows in here is this so this is the main lead and i'm just kind of splicing 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 and i might even get like the, the screw caps that uh to make it even easier because instead of soldering all of them uh, i might just do that and i'm thinking i might have i should have probably started just so i'm not dealing with all the wires at the top and then work my way down maybe i you know just from a learning experience that, that seems like it would have been easier because you just have you have less stuff as you're working towards you get, you know, you obviously got, if you start here and then you kind of work your way down, you got less stuff to deal with, but whatever, it'll work out. So all these are going until I get up to row 15. I'm on row one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I just got row eight in there and I'm taking a break because I was working on this a lot today. Just the, the learning curve on this is ridiculous. If you've never done anything like this before. And the battery pack, uh, 
it's been on for hours and hours and hours with the first set of lights. Um, and so it holds a pretty good charge. Now I'll, I'll see what it does once I get all the strands in there. But, uh, but it's going in there. And so I'm basically, I'm taking the lights right up to the edge and then I'm cutting them and I'm using some of that, uh, I'm using these wires that are in the description. And I, I should have gotten 18 gauge because it just is a, it's less resistance. And so if you're getting, I might update the link in the description to the 18 gauge ones. And uh, just it provides less resistance and you don't need to use the, uh, the power lines as, as, more, as, as frequently. Um, again, when you guys do this, you're not going to see this right here because you're going to learn from my mistake and not use acrylic paint. And it's going to be nice and smooth and it's going to be... It's gonna, the, the color is going to be more consistent, so it looks good. As far, for my use, it looks good, but next time, definitely just use the paint I, I suggested, not use acrylic, and then you won't have that mess. And uh, so, yeah, and then you can check out the, the pattern changes. I mean, it's got all kinds of numbers. This is just what comes with it. I'll probably set this when I wear it. Um... I'll probably set that on auto and it'll just cycle through all the different colors and and different settings but it just that's more likely I think what most people do you just leave it and uh, it's got some blending and just different things and if you just wanted to pick a color you know you can pick a solid color or whatever but um, yeah so it's coming along time consuming as you know what so if you're doing this <laughs> if you haven't started on this and you don't know what the heck you're doing like me uh, you better hurry up if you're trying to get this thing knocked out for uh, for Halloween. Hope this uh, gets you gets, gets some ideas. I'm just going to be doing updates uh, like this until I get to the end. And then when I get all the lights in, then I'll kind of show you what I'm doing with the padding. And, um, and I'm probably going to put a couple 5-volt... Um, 5-volt uh, little computer fans in there just to make it... Give it some air, and then I'm also going to put a fabric kind of kind of ring neck ringer thing I'm going to put around here, like a little tube that kind of, kind of pops over my head, just to keep as much light out from underneath here as possible. If you look at some of Marshmallow's you know live performances, it looks like he's got this piece of fabric that goes in here, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll put that in there as well. So uh, there you go. Talk to you later.